Someone posted the following scenario in a big filmmaking group on Facebook earlier today. They said, riddle me this. Imagine you are one of 10 freelance videographer or filmmakers in a room. If you specialize in something specific, the other nine do as well. Each one of you as a one person crew, one charges a thousand dollar for a day's production. Two has the same camera and same lenses. Three has the same light setup. Four has the same gear collection. So the same gimbal sliders, jibs, etc. A client walks in needing services. Why should they choose you? I thought this was an interesting question. Now, the answers were even more interesting. They ranged from things like, I'm a people person, to the lowest bidder, to I have great relationships with distributors. I don't think any of these are the right answer. And let's take a look why. First, I'm a people person. Sure, that's definitely a good thing. Everybody prefers somebody that they'll be able to work with over an asshole. But you can be the greatest people person and still not have the technical skills to get the job done. The lowest bidder. If you truly think that price is the deciding factor for any decision, then you are destined to be poor your entire life. If clients always went with the lowest price option, nobody would have paid Christopher Nolan $20 million up front plus 20% of the gross for directing Dunkirk or Robert Downey Jr. 50 million to act in The Avengers. Okay, is that too an extreme example for you? How about this? Given the choice between buying a name brand toothpaste and the generic brand right next to it on the shelf, why do most people buy the name brand knowing full well that they're paying more money for the exact same product? It's because price is not a factor. In fact, if someone truly feels like something or someone is the solution to, to their problem, whether your problem is hiring a director or an actor or helping fix your lower back pain, they're often willing to pay any price. So if you think that being the lowest bidder to anything is a way to get hired, you're wrong. What it does win you a job, it often means that you're getting paid to work for a client that doesn't understand the value of what you're offering. Plus, the road to being the cheapest is a long road and it only goes down. There's always someone willing to do more for less. Why would you want to do that to yourself? So finally, I have great relationships with distributors. Unless this client is specifically looking to hire you for something that they intend to get distribution for, this isn't a factor at all. Not to mention that if you can't deliver a good product, it won't matter what your relationship with distributors is. Nobody wants to distribute crap that nobody wants. So if none of these are the answer, then what is? What makes a client choose you? I believe it's the same answer regardless of whether you're a filmmaker looking to get hired or an actor looking to get cast. The answer is this. Everyone has a story and they want someone to tell it for them. When it comes down to it, that's all filmmaking is about, storytelling. If you're a director, your job is to tell someone's story, something that starts as an idea in someone's head that you interpret, assemble all the pieces and parts for, and translate into a real physical product that people can experience. If you're an actor, your job is to figure out what the story is and how your character helps to tell that story and not only breathe life into this imaginary person, but also make them integral to the message that the writer's trying to get across. This may sound pretentious and esoteric, but at the heart of it all, that's truly what people want. If you want to be successful in this industry, you need to be able to develop the skills you need to listen to someone's story and help bring that to life for them. If you want to do that, then it's you better start to learn how to work with people and collaborate with them on the highest level possible. If you want basic training on how actors can better work with directors and how directors can better work with actors, 
check out this free video training that I created. It won't guarantee that you'll get hired at your next meeting or audition, but it will definitely make you better on set no matter what side of the camera you're working on. And I can pretty much guarantee that that is what will get you rehired for bigger and better jobs in the future. Check out the video in the link in the description below.